Greetings everyone. Welcome back to Plant Alchemy, the Observatory Mind, where we journey into the wonders of the plant kingdom and their connection to our spiritual journey. I am Trisha and today we are going to explore a fascinating plant that embodies sensitivity and the delicate nature of life. The shy plant, also known as Sensitiva or Mimosa pudica. Mimosa pudica is a creeping annual or perennial flowering plant of the pea family Fabiaceae. Peas or legumes are the second largest family of angiosperms with about 650 genera and about 20,000 species. Among these are many foods such as the bean family, the pea family, the peanut family and the soybean family. Angiosperms are plants that produce flowers and bear their seeds in the fruits. They are the largest and most diverse group within the Kingdom Plantae, with about 300,000 species. Angiosperms represent approximately 80% of all known living green plants. Have you ever encountered a plant that seems almost alive in its response to touch? The sensitiva, or the shy plant, is just that. Its leaves fold inward and droop when touched or shaken, as if retreating into itself. It is a natural defense mechanism, a beautiful reminder of how living things protect themselves from harm. The sensitiva's sensitivity is a profound reflection of our own emotional and spiritual responses to the world around us. Just like this plant, we sometimes withdraw, protecting our inner selves from perceived threats or overwhelming emotions. But there is a beauty in this sensitivity, a reminder that we are deeply connected to the energies around us. The scientific explanation is of that plant's unusual quick response to touch is due to rapid water release from specialized cells located at the basis of leaflet and leaf stalks. The leaves reopen in several minutes and it is thought that this adaptation is a defense against browsing herbivores who may be startled by the movement. In addition to its response to physical stimuli, The leaves also droop in response to darkness and reopen with daylight, a phenomenon known as nictinastic movement. In plant biology, nictinasty refers to the daily movement of plants in response to darkness, often described as the plant sleeping. These movements are linked to changes in light and temperature throughout the day and are regulated by the plant's internal circadian clock. It has been argued that for plants that display foliar nictinasty, it is a crucial mechanism for survival. However, most plants do not exhibit any nictinastic movements, so this is a rare sight, and a common sight within the bean family. The earliest recorded observation of this behavior in plants dates back to 324 before Christ, when Andros Tenses of Thesos, a companion to Alexander the Great, noted the opening and closing of tamarind tree leaves from day to night. And Carl Linnaeus in 1729 proposed that this was the plants sleeping. But this idea has been widely contested. The exact reason for nictinastic movement in plants aren't fully understood, but several ideas have been suggested. Peter Minorowski, a natural sciences professor, proposed that these movements help plants by reducing their surface area at night. 
which can help them retain heat and avoid being eaten by herbivores. His trichotrophic uh, hypothesis adds that by moving their leaves, plants might expose herbivores to nocturnal predators, making it harder for herbivores to hide, leading to fewer leaves being damaged. Studies on mutant plants that lack this movement show they have less growth and smaller leaves, suggesting nicotinasty might aid in plant growth. And Charles Darwin believed nicotinasty could help prevent plants from freezing at night. Another idea is that this movement protects pollen by keeping it dry when most pollinators are inactive. Interestingly, some plants that rely on moths or bats for pollination actually open their flowers at night due to nicotinasty. This shy plant, Mimosa pudica, produces delicate, ball-shaped flowers that are quite striking. The flowers are small, usually about 1 to 2 centimeters in diameter, and are a soft pink or light purple color. They resemble tiny fluffy pom-poms due to their numerous fine thread-like stamens that radiate outwards from the center. These stamens give the flower a feathery, almost ethereal appearance. The flowers typically bloom on slender green stems and they add a charming touch to the plant's overall appearance, contrasting beautifully with the delicate fern-like leaves. In many cultures, the shy plant is seen as a symbol of humility, sensitivity and introspection. It teaches us the importance of being gentle with ourselves and others, of respecting our own boundaries and the boundaries of those around us. When we embrace our sensitivity, we open ourselves to deeper connection and more profound understanding of the world. Imagine for a moment that your heart is like this plant. When touched by strong emotion or the harshness of the world, it curls inward to protect itself. But just as the sensitiva reopens its leaves when the danger has passed, so too can we learn to open our hearts again, embracing the world with renewed perspective. Thank you for joining me on this journey into the world of the sensitive plant. I hope you have found inspiration in this shy yet powerful plant. Remember, sometimes our greatest strength lies in our sensitivity. So until next time, stay connected with nature and keep nurturing the alchemy within you.